Shocking revelations, Elon Musk exposes dark side of World Economic Forum and Klaus Schwab. Twitter's new boss, Elon Musk, seems not a fan of the World Economic Forum, WEF, as the billionaire has heavily bashed it in his last few tweets. In one of the posts, he slammed the world's most potent club by saying this is becoming an unelected world government and nobody wants it. Let's learn from the billionaire what they say at WEF and who Klaus Schwab is. The conference is held yearly to discuss global issues like technology's effects on security. It is attended by business executives executives, global leaders, and cultural trendsetters from all over the world. Elon Musk, the billionaire, is not a fan of the World Economic Forum, WEF, and is making his feelings known. Tesla CEO Elon Musk has unloaded a barrage of criticism on the annual meeting of political and business leaders ostensibly to spice things up. Musk mocked Environmental, Social, and Governance, or ESG, stating that the letter S should stand for satanic rather than social. The Tesla entrepreneur also sneered at the concept of the WEF being the boss of Earth, calling the meeting uninteresting. The tweet is a response to a short clip which shows the WEF's founder and chairman Klaus Schwab talking about World Economic Forum's new global collaboration village in the metaverse, which he feels people would have faith in because they are losing interest in political institutions. In the video, Schwab explains that people can trust it because of Interpol, an international organization for creating solutions and taking action on some of the challenges the world is facing. Following this, Elon Musk tweeted on Twitter, saying WEF is increasingly becoming an unelected world government that the world never asked for and didn't want. Just a few days back, Musk also openly said on Twitter, how is WEF Davos even a thing? Are they trying to be the boss of Earth? Musk didn't stop there and conducted a poll on Twitter asking his millions of followers whether WEF should control the world. All this clearly showed his disappointment with the conference, and this has been for years. This is not the first time that the billionaire has criticized this forum. Just last year, Musk called the World Economic Forum boring. My reason for declining the Davos invitation was not because I thought that they were engaged in a diabolical scheming, but because it sounded boring AF, lol, he said in a tweet last year. His claim of declining the invitation was immediately declared fake as the organizer of the World Economic Forum Summit, Jan Zopf, reported that Musk was never invited to attend the conference. Zopf said the invitation was not sent to him this year and not recently last time in 2015. He said, Musk never registered for any annual meeting in Davos. So Klaus Schwab is the founder and executive chairman World Economic Forum. The World Economic Forum was founded in 1971 as a not-for-profit organization. It was built into the International Organization for Public-Private Cooperation. 1998, together with his wife, Hilde, co-founded the Schwab Foundation for Social Entrepreneurship, supporting social innovation worldwide. 2004, founded the Forum of Young Global Leaders, a multi-stakeholder community of young leaders 30 to 40 years old committed to shaping the global future. 2011, founded the Global Shapers Community, a worldwide network of local hubs in cities around the world bringing together young people 20 to 30 years old who are exceptional in their potential achievements and drive to contribute to their communities. 1971 to 2003, Professor of Business Policy, University of Geneva. Academic contributions include the first publication describing the stakeholder theory in 1971 and a new approach to global competitiveness in 1979. They studied at the Swiss Federal Institute of Technology in Zurich, the University of Freiburg, and Harvard University. Doctorate in Mechanical Engineering and Doctorate in Economics, summa cum laude. Honorary professorships and numerous honorary doctorates. Recipient of an honorary knighthood, KCMG, and international and national honors for initiatives undertaken in the spirit of entrepreneurship and the global public interest and for peace and reconciliation efforts. WEF mission. They claim that the 
platform engages the foremost political, business, cultural, and other leaders of society to shape global, regional, and industry agendas. It was established in 1971 as a not-for-profit foundation headquartered in Geneva, Switzerland. It is independent, impartial, and not tied to any special interests. The forum strives in all its efforts to demonstrate entrepreneurship in the global public interest while upholding the highest governance standards. Moral and intellectual integrity is at the heart of everything it does. They believe that progress happens by bringing together people from all walks of life who have the drive and the influence to make positive change. Musk had tweeted his disapproval of the WEF multiple times, most recently last year when he wrote a tweet that read, My reason for declining the Davos invitation was not because I thought they were engaged in diabolical scheming, but because it sounded boring AF. LOL. The organizer of the World Economic Forum Summit in Davos, Switzerland, Jan Zaff, knocked down Musk's claim that the billionaire wasn't there, though he says he was invited. The spokesman added that the last time the Tesla CEO got an invitation was not this year and not recently, last time in 2015. Zopp said Musk never registered for any annual meeting in Davos. The World Economic Forum, WEF, is an international not-for-profit organization promoting public and private sector collaboration. The 2023 annual meeting in Davos, Switzerland, will have record-breaking attendance of more than 2,500 delegates and and is focused on several themes, including sustainability, economic growth and resilience, globalization and geopolitics, and energy and food security. Elon Musk has made it abundantly clear that he's not a fan of the World Economic Forum, the annual gathering of world leaders and CEOs taking place in Davos, Switzerland this week. Musk, who until late 2022 was the world's richest person, has shared his disdain for the conference, which was started back in 1971 by Klaus Schwab. In a series of tweets in recent days, including questioning is their very existence, over 600 CEOs are expected to attend Davos this year, including executives from Wall Street like J.P. Morgan's Jamie Dimon, David Solomon from Goldman Sachs, and Morgan Stanley's James Gorman. Over 50 world leaders will be present, including those from Spain, South Korea, Poland, and the Philippines. Some celebrities like Idris Elba and Will I Am will also be there. Musk, however, will not be present. In a separate tweet sent at the end of December, Musk made it clear that he wouldn't be attending the gathering, saying it sounded boring. In December, Elon Musk noted that he was invited to the conference but opted to skip out. The event, which takes place every year at Davos, includes some of the world's most influential individuals and focuses on climate change. In recent statements, however, the organizers of the World Economic Forum claimed that Musk wasn't invited this year or in recent years either. The organizers claim that the last time Musk was invited to Davos was in 2015. In a statement to the Associated Press, WEF spokesperson Jan Zopp noted that Musk was invited not this year and not recently, last time in 2015. The spokesperson also noted that Musk never registered or attended the forum even when invited in the 2010s. Musk also replied directly to a tweet from the World Economic Forum's official account Account, which said that overpopulation remains a global challenge, contradicting it and espousing his strongly held view that declining birth rates pose a major problem for humanity. Population collapse is an existential problem for humanity, not overpopulation, he wrote. Zomp added that Musk never registered for any annual meeting in Davos. Musk did not immediately respond to requests from the Associated Press for Comment Tuesday. The gathering has been criticized for a lack lack of concrete action that emerges after a series of sessions and speeches, while the forum itself has been the target of online conspiracy theories. From those who believe the forum involves a group of elites manipulating global events for their own benefit. Plus, Musk might be a bit busy to be palling around with the powerful and snowy Switzerland. With still grappling with the fallout from buying Twitter last year for $44 billion, Musk is facing trial over the tweet about taking Tesla private in 2018. 
Jury selection begins this week and he'll have to explain his actions under oath in court in San Francisco after tweeting that he had lined up the financing to pay for a $72 billion buyout of the electric car maker, which never happened. It culminated in a $40 million settlement with U.S. securities regulators that also required him to step down as the company's chairman. He's also planning to step down as CEO, but remain owner of Twitter, which he succeeded in taking private last summer but has alienated some users and advertisers with chaotic job cuts and changes to content moderation policies. Musk posted about the WEF last month, noting in a post on Twitter that I was invited to WEF but declined. About a week later, Musk provided a lighthearted explanation about why he did not attend the conference. My reason for declining the Davos invitation was not because I thought they were engaged in diabolical scheming, but because it sounded boring AF, LOL, Musk wrote. To be fair, Elon Musk did not specify in his posts about the WEF if he was referring to the 2023 conference. However, the timing of Musk's Twitter posts about the event, which started about one month before this year's convention, suggests that was likely the case. While the WEF has been a critical event for some of the world's most notable advocates for crucial issues such as climate change, it has also been criticized for its lack of concrete action. The nature of the event, which attracts the world's most influential people, has also been the target of conspiracy theories, particularly among those who believe that the elite manipulates global events. In a way, Musk's comments about the WEF may prove true considering his current company activities. Musk is still working hard trying to transform Twitter into a profitable business. He's also involved in Tesla projects such as the Cybertruck's first deliveries this year and the continued ramp of 46080 battery cells. Musk's private space company SpaceX is also busy with government contracts while attempting to launch Starship, its fully reusable rocket. So what do you think about the World Economic Forum and Klaus Schwab? Do let us know in the comments. That is the end of today's video. Make sure you hit that bell icon for upcoming videos. And if you enjoyed the video, please leave a like and subscribe. And thanks for watching.